this guy and his bald patch on his backside there, we're going to the groomers to get it sorted out. So, you join me on the right to the city. Turn you up a bit. Less hood, more sky. Okay. Seat belt. And let's put some. Wait for that steering wheel, man. It's got to warm up. I remember we had a, a Jeep like this in uh, Abu Dhabi. And I remember I'd have to take the housemaids every once in a while to with me to go grocery shopping and stuff like that. I remember the, we had uh, three of them at different times. But uh, we had an Ethiopian, a, a Filipino, and a Chinese girl. Anyway, I turned the heated seat on when uh, I take the take them out, and it was so funny. I mean, it must have been 50 degrees outside, and the heated seats on, and I we got the air conditioner blowing away. By the way, Jeeps don't have great air conditioners in Abu Dhabi. That darn thing was flat out most of the year, and uh, it could barely keep it cool enough to, so you wouldn't have to break a sweat. And I think you only turned the heat on once or twice a year. There was a couple of times it got pretty cold. But anyway, I just kind of remember that and kind of chuckle about it. The first thing I got to do today is I got to go and drop off some wontons, mini wontons, of all things, to our good friend Karen at the sign post. My second closest neighbor. Just over this little hill here. And tomorrow, I think we're going to be setting a temperature record of 10 or 11 degrees Celsius. Right now, it's minus 17, and it's supposed to warm up to uh, minus 4 today. Well, this is nicely cleaned up.
Okay. All right. Seat belt. There we go. tractor thing the jiggies. 40 grand. So I guess it'll be a while before I go and pick one of them up. Oh. Man, it's cold in the hands today. I gotta remember I got a dog in the back there before I get a tool cook in the mouth. So let's turn it down. There. There we go. Nice and shiny. The road, that's all ice. Oh, well, not much cooking from the vegetables of yesterday. Not a lot has changed. Just got to take it easy along here because of the uh, ever increasing uh, speed bumps. Night is 16. That's good. Come on, son, warm her up. There's another guy with a tractor. If I was going to get a tractor, I sure would like to have one with a cab with heat. An air conditioning. But in actuality, I don't really need a tractor too much up in the sheep at all. That's just work. It'd be nice to be able to have one to use once in a while. Say maybe like a rototiller that I can use for uh, the potato patch and <clears throat> maybe if it was. Uh, Really simple. Grow something for the deer to eat. And some of the other critters that are around there. But overall, <coughs> I think I'd have more fun in the side by side. And I've been looking at those uh, the Polaris model, but I noticed that uh, when you watch Bats Off Road Recovery. A lot of those are uh, all kinds of broken axles and every other thing. I mean, these kids are driving them pretty hard. Oh, we're going to watch out up here. First big major bump. Actually, it's the second, but... It's right here. back and then there's they wonder why there's no deer. I can see the uh, brush of the road back here on one side but not the other. The neighbor
ice is in the uh, docking harbor. Our groomer is really good. She has a got the girl's got a special rapport with dogs, that's for sure. These guys need their nails trimmed real bad. And nobody can do uh, Storm's nails except Erica. And of all things, she uses a grinder on them. Which I find interesting. Now, we gotta get the cover rolls today. They blew a hole in them a couple days back. This woman, she overcharges, but we haven't got anybody that can do it. It's not something you want to have to keep asking my neighbor to do. the uh, big protest in Fredericton was a flop. I could have figured that out without telling everybody else. Sadders don't bother going because there won't be enough. Mostly nutters. <coughs> Excuse me. And I had a doctor's appointment on the phone yesterday. That was a waste of it freaking time. I couldn't understand him. His phone's breaking up. Probably he knows that. Oh well. It is what it is. I got a couple of prescriptions to pick up. And all kinds of stuff to do today. Besides the dog. So we'll take a we'll make a video on the way into town and uh, <coughs> I didn't bring two cameras today. I gotta come back in on Wednesday for today's Wednesday. I gotta come back in on Friday with uh, Storm to the groomer as well. Get their nails all cut up. What I had planned on doing is we got three dogs take one a month, but because he's got his hot spot, that kind of put the screws to it, and uh, so now I think we're going to try every nine weeks or every eight weeks or something like that. I was just doing it to save some money, but I guess the length of time between like once every three months there's three dogs is too long. But you can't help me for trying. And a computer update. I'm getting a new computer from Dell. It's been delayed another couple of weeks. So it'll be the end of this month. But it hasn't even gone in production yet. Which means they can't get no parts. And I did get a good deal on it, except for the first one I went to buy, they let you go through all the process of buying it, and then they would, uh, wouldn't let you buy it like when you go to the checkout. So I got contacted uh, Dell, said, what the hell's going on here? Oh, we don't have uh, enough parts for that one. So, my wife says, we'll get the other one. And it was more expensive. And it was like $1,300 off. Still expensive by the end of the day. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting it. 
64 gigs of RAM, and uh, there's one terabyte SSD drive in it, plus, I think it might even be a two terabyte if I, I'd have to look to make sure, and uh, I've got another four terabyte drive to pop in it right away with all my data on it, plus, I'm going to sell my old one. Oh, those folks back there got COVID. <laughs> Too bad. You'll be, I guess they're on the mend. Everything's okay. School kid brought it home. School kid brought one home for a groomer. Well, now, which is the best week to go today? It's 10. I got an hour to get there. Let's go across the, let's go the long way around, get on the other side of the river. Won't be long, there will be no more snowmobiles buzzing around. They don't come down to our place anymore, because we've got too many big drifts there, they can't get through. Minus 19 down here. And the wood's going down in the garage. That'll be the first thing I load up when we get the wood delivered in the spring or in the early summer. I'm not sure how many cores we're going to get this year. We've got lots. In dried wood, it feels very earth, smells very earthy when you, uh, like when I carry bundles of it in there, you can smell it, it's uh, musty, I guess. So I'm not going to look at... Uh, Getting some extra cedar this this year, and uh, I want to get it set up in such a way that I'll get it cut and I'll split it in half, like I did the other stuff. Probably in about one foot sections. And I learned that if it's really super dry, the cedar doesn't have to be cut into these little tiny slivers to get the fire going because they use a thing called a fire starter which is uh, like sawdust and maybe paraffin wax smells all right too I bought about 20 packs of it from the dollar store this fall and I've only gone through one pack if there's just a little bit of coals in the fireplace she uh, lights right up with one of these bigger pieces in it. And I've got uh, a box and a half of kindling left, plus a big bag. So I got more than enough kindling to last me for next winter as well. But uh, nice looking truck. Poor old Ice Man. He didn't want to go. He held. to the uh, couch. He didn't want to get up. Then he got onto the floor. <coughs> he finally got his harness on him. And he knew he was going. So we take him out. He pee in the tires. And then after that, he went right into the back of the Jeep without no problem at all. Then we'll... Uh, 
have no problem loading them back in. You can see it he usually put his front paws up onto the front, and then I just put his tail down over his bum hole and just give him the old heave hole, and in he goes. But it's not going to get any easier the older I get, the bigger he gets. And I can't take the ramp with me. The damn thing's too big, and you got to be careful with this particular ramp that we got because we couldn't get any anywhere else. If you're not careful, it'll take your freaking fingers off. But anyway, it works. sign was. And here we are. Pretty small little old houses. This road's getting rough. What are you doing back there, Rice? Smell the campfires for the wood stoves. know where their speed bumps are. <clears throat> I don't know why they don't fix this road. This is horrible. But I'd like to know when it's going to be minus 4 because it's minus 18 over here. Cigarettes. You go there and play cards if you want it. That's too small for any of that. $25,000 a lot.
she wants me to wash the car today. I can't see that happen. We'll end up getting the doors broke shut. Five minutes to go. Won't be long. We'll be able to go down uh, over the hill and check out the uh, my woods. See how that culverts working that we put in. That was, wasn't cheap. All said and done, maybe 500 bucks, maybe six. Can't remember. Propane. As long as there's no power failures, we don't go through our, hardly any propane. The uh, generator self-starts every two weeks, runs for five or ten minutes. So that doesn't cost us too much in the run of the year. But if the power goes out and it's got to run for five days, it's going to cost us a few bucks. Well, that's for sure. I bet you it's windier than hell on top of here. This is the top of Keswick Ridge. Taxes are more up here. missing a piece of metal. It's going to come crashing down. Our barn, we had to level it. It was going to fall apart. It was built as cheap as possible. So we knocked the barn down, burnt it a couple times. <coughs> and then we buried it. Then we uh, hydro seeded it with uh, liquid grass in a drought. But it come up. Southeast, for those who'd like to know. Swing it off to the right here right away. <clears throat> On to the rocky road. Tested. 
had a lung infection. He's known about it for two years, and now we're finally going to see what it is. I don't know what it is with that guy. Whoops. I need to pick a good place to back up there now. water just when the big melt comes and if it's a really super hot day and it, it's intense this snow melts on this here bank here real quick and it washes all the ditches out driveways out it all ends up at the bottom of the hill here Forty-five minutes to get there. I got lots of time. Might even be able to make a pit stop. The, the coveralls won't be ready till after lunch. So. My wife doesn't want to leave any earlier than she has to. And expects me to be like that too. I can't do that. Oh, somebody broke down. Windows broken out of the car. Huh. or something. Here we go. like a skier. Oh, minus 17. We're getting there. attention for potholes. Tis the season. We'll have potholes all the way up till June. Well, actually, we have them year-round here, but... Our road turns into hell, full of potholes. Then we gotta keep calling